Hello everyone, my name is Azatru, how are you and welcome to another Star Wars gaming video. In this one, I'm going to be showing you gameplay of a fan-made Starfighter VR game that allows you to play as Luke Skywalker and do the Death Star Trench Run. We're passing through the magnetic field! Remember, the Force will be with you, always. I will be sharing with you all the details plus showing the gameplay of this amazing free game that gives us a glimpse of just how immersive and fun Star Wars Squadrons will be later this year. From being able to activate your S foils to the great sound design, this game is fantastic, but a challenge. Project Stardust is simply a free X-Wing simulator that allows you to take part in Starfighter combat against TIE Fighters, plus blow up the Death Star itself. It was created for a university project to research VR motion sickness, and the game honestly is amazing for a student project. As you can see, the X-Wing interior is very well done. There are multiple firing modes for the lasers and various radars in the cockpit's computers. You can toggle between these easily using the controls. Speaking of controls, various headsets and input devices do work. I used an Oculus Rift with touch controllers, but you can use something like an Xbox controller or a throttle and stick if you wish. As someone who isn't experienced with flying simulation games, I did find it difficult to control, but after several hours I got to a point where I could complete the trench run after many unsuccessful attempts. You have to stay on target and not get distracted by the amazing R2 behind you or the AI flying around. The looking through the cockpit windows freely is just so awesome, especially when you're doing the trench run or you're in a dogfight with a TIE fighter and you're trying to get their position, you're looking behind you, you're looking to your side, you're looking above you, it's just fantastic. I also want to add that the field of view is much higher when using the headset as opposed to the gameplay shown. So you can see all of the console in front of you when you're playing the game, for example, and this isn't visible in the gameplay. Overall, there is just a higher field of view, so you have much more spatial awareness. There is a tutorial that takes you through the controls, whether it be the flying mechanics or shooting, it has it all covered. There is also some customization when it comes to the controls. Personally, I left most of this on default, but I did tweak the speed of the roll, pitch, and yaw to something that I could control better. The brakes are key to movement, and the speed boost gives the trench run so much sense of urgency. It is fantastic, but harder to control. Once you've done with the tutorial, you can play through the attack of the Death Star from A New Hope. There are three levels which you can play from A New Hope, so there is the Death Star Approach. All wings report in. Red 10 standing by. Red 7 standing by. Red 3 standing by. Red 6 standing by. Red 9 standing by. Red 2 standing by. Red 11 standing by. Lock S4 is in attack position. Attacking the turbo lasers. Stabilize your rear deflectors. Watch for enemy fighters. This is it. We're in position. I'm going to cut across the axes and try and draw their fire. And finally, the trench run itself. The first one has you and the rest of the Rebellion fighters take out TIE fighters in a dogfight as you approach the Death Star. Then you will get to the surface and you have to take down as many turbo lasers as you can, all whilst dogfighting with TIE fighters. And finally, there is the iconic trench run. You have to stay in the trench, avoid turbo lasers and other parts of the Death Star that stick out. Some of the obstacles are pretty hard to avoid and it will take you a couple of runs to do it. Honestly, it is such a challenge and completing it is an achievement. You're really invested in wanting to get this done no matter how many times you fail. Not crashing into oncoming structures whilst trying to maintain speed is no easy task. Once you do get to the end, the Millennium Falcon will take out Vader and his squadron chasing you, allowing you to fire away at the exhaust port. You'll get to see the Death Star explode followed by a credit scene with the music of the throne room playing as you pass through the lines of X-Wings, Y-Wings and the Millennium Falcon at the end. This was an absolutely phenomenal experience, for real. Also, you can play those three levels, those three different scenes in a sequence, 
so one long game mode, or you can choose which one you want to do. For example, if you don't want to do the approach and the turbo laser attack and go straight to the trench run, you can do just that right away. One of the main reasons why this game made me so happy when playing was the great sound design. The music and movie voice lines were quite in sync with the AI and such when you were doing the trench run. Hearing the pilot chatter along with the last battle track of John Williams, as you line up with the AI, being destroyed was great. You've got R2 in the back making noises. You have the chatter from the Rebel base on Yavin 4. And then just pretty much all the sound effects from A New Hope going on whilst you're playing this game. And I can't forget the suspense of Vader coming up behind you, hunting down the fighters in front of you. It really added so much to that event. <laughs> I can't play much music due to copyright on this video, but you have to play it for yourself. Like, truly, you must play it for yourself because it puts you into a new hope. I also want to point out my motion sickness experience with this game, given it was designed for research into that. So I've never had motion sickness in VR before. However, after several unsuccessful attempts on the trench run, because I was rotating all over the place and I was just spinning around, it's way too quickly in my X-Wing. I had to take a break because I did feel uncomfortable. After a break, I did get better with the controls and I wasn't spinning as much. And because I wasn't going all over the place, I was fine. So this game has been getting updates over the past year or so. And even more is planned. Lightspeed is the next thing to come to the game. And I'm super excited to try that out. A survival mode is also another feature that will be coming in the near future too. And you'll be able to jump from system to system in this mode with light speed, which sounds awesome. Proton torpedoes and new ships like Star Destroyers, B-Wings and the TIE Interceptor are also planned to come to this game. The footage on screen is a work in progress from the Stardust Twitter account. If you have a VR headset on PC, please do go check this out and give it some love and support. It is phenomenal and it's totally worth checking out. There will be a link to this game down in the description below so you can go check it out. It's a fantastic fan project and I would love to see it keep going as much as possible. If there are any more major updates to it, I will make a video. If you are interested, let me know down in the comments if you'd like to see a follow-up video when new updates do come. Also, make sure you subscribe and turn notifications on so you don't miss any future VR or Squadrons videos. That is all for this one. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Drop a like if you enjoyed this video, check out any of the two previous videos on screen if you did miss them, and I shall see you in my next Star Wars Squadrons video, or Star Wars gaming video. Goodbye.